When I was growing up, it was a lot more common, in America at least, to demonize video games. You know, DS is banned in schools, Pokemon cards are from the devil, video games cause violence, all the songs you've heard before. If I came up short in an area of life, if I had a personality flaw, if I had a bad day, someone, somewhere, was going to blame it on me playing video games. This mentality was everywhere. Now, luckily, even as a kid, I knew these claims were pretty ridiculous. It's probably fair to say this still affected me on some level. I think it might be a factor in why I am now a chronic perfectionist who carries deep anxiety over how strangers perceive me. But all the same, I had a happy childhood, I grew up just fine, and off to college I went. I brought my Switch with me, my roommate had a TV, I could finally game indiscriminately. But I didn't. Because I was pretty sure I wasn't going to do great in college. I was one of those people who went right out of high school because that's just what you do, rather than going because I had any sort of plan or aspiration. That's another mentality, actually, that seems to have dwindled in the years since I was a kid. So yeah, no passion, no drive, no joy. I was miserable and performing academically just as well. And through it all... I pretty much refused to play video games because I knew I was going to fail and I wasn't going to give anyone the luxury of using video games as a scapegoat this time. A bit dramatic, but they were dramatic times for me. However, there were some exceptionally special occasions where I would break this rule and allow myself to play a video game. Three, actually. Perhaps the most significant of these happened in October of 2017. After bundling myself in as many layers as I owned and with a rare, genuine smile on my face, I walked a seven mile round trip to the local Best Buy so that I could buy my copy of Super Mario Odyssey. This is the happiest memory I have of my time at my first college. By the way, don't worry about me, I'm much happier now. College went a lot better the second time. It's kind of an unspoken rule in the gaming community at large, right? Even if it's not your absolute favorite series ever, the release of a brand new mainline 3D Mario game is a history-making event that warrants parades in the streets, festivals at night, and the banks to close. A kind of event that we haven't gotten to enjoy since Mario Odyssey. And honestly, Odyssey is so good that I don't really mind. This gorgeous and bombastic adventure for Mario feels so immense in its offerings. Both the wide open landscapes you were able to explore and the minute little details and goofy moments you'll find around every corner are emblematic of the unmatched prowess of the game designers and the limitless potential of Nintendo when their production value is at its highest. It toes the line between weird and familiar. The controls are tight enough to offer you precise decision making, get loose enough to feel like they'll listen to anything you tell them to do. And that's not even mentioning the pure video game joy that is giving Mario the ability to be Kirby and use the powers of any enemy around him. It's astounding how well this game managed to provide value for people whom this is their first big Mario game and for whom it's their tenth. From baby's first Hot Topic aesthetic, to Mario Takes on New York, to low poly fever dream, these worlds are consistently surprising and captivating. And it's not just the novel value of seeing them on a first visit. I have spent an unreasonable amount of time in Luigi's Balloon World discovering the deepest nooks and crannies these environments have to offer. And I know for sure that if I fired it up again, I would get sucked in again and instantly lose 10 hours of my week speedrunning my way to all the best hiding spots the Splatoon avatars can throw at me. It's rare in the game industry to be able to turn on a game for the first time, expecting it to be an all-time great, historic piece of art, but that's what 3D Mario offers you. And that's a legacy that Mario Odyssey not only lived up to, but exceeded. 